Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be fitting my electronic autofocuser from ZWO to my Recap 51 here using the DeepSkyDad.com mountain kit. And this kit is designed to fit this focuser to a red cat, white cat, space cat, I would imagine the night cat as well, uh, although it doesn't say that on the box. But I can't see why not because they, they are the same scopes. And I'm also going to mention some things I'm not too happy with and also the things I'm happy with. So without any further delay, let's let's get this done, eh? So just so you're aware, there was no sort of Allen key type wrenches supplied with the products. I've had to use my own and I'm using four different types. Just you know, make sure you use the right wrench for the right bolt. Uh, so first things first I'm going to attach the focus rings here or clamps and they basically well, they just go over the helical focus uh, like so so I'll put one on there and bring that around like that and they just clamp together like so and all I'm going to do I'm just going to tighten these two bolts here so I'm not going to tighten these fully I'm going to leave a little bit of play and that's uh, so I can adjust it all at the end. See, I'm doing a slightly different personal preference. So there we go, that's, that's on. It's uh, maybe do a little bit more tightening here. Right, so I might be right. It's a bit of play in there just so I can adjust it. I'm going to do just slap the timing belt on. Get that out the way, and then that's that. Chopped a good one. Put that out the way now, and I'm now going to attach the pulley here to my autofocuser. It, it's attached using two little group screws here. One group screw needs to go onto the straight edge here of the autofocuser. This little bit here. I did feel the point that out um, on my last autofocus video, to be honest. One of my subscribers kindly point that out. Um, that needs to happen. And all that's going to do is just going to tighten the little group screws until they bite down. Don't want to over tighten stuff, you know, breaking it, but you want it enough so it's, you know, it's not going to start moving about and slipping. There we go, that's on there. Okay, so now for putting the autofocus set onto the mountain adapter here. Now, I want to point something out and I'm not overly happy with it. Um, it's not the best of finishes. I think this is 3D printed. You can see it's a bit rough here. But my main concern is, I hope you can see that, just around the, where the bolts are, <laughs> it looks like it's been chewed. Yeah, not, not a great finish. Um, I'm not overly bothered to be honest, this is all going to get covered with the focus hair and one of the spaces that I'll show you in a sec. Uh, as long as the bolts don't come out, I'm not, yeah, like I said, not too bothered, but yeah, it's, it's not great is it, to be fair. Anyway, so, let's get this on here. So you've got three spaces, oh, you've got like little cards that you get, one's half a millimetre and then you get a couple of one millimetre thick ones. So I'm going to place the thicker one on first, that just goes in there, and focus can only go in one way anyway, I'm just going to place that in, it is quite snug, so we'll just slip that in, there we go, and then we're just going to put the M4 8mm bolts and washers in, now the focus does come with um, washers and bolts, but I've, I've opted to use ones that uh, come with the kit. So we'll just hand tight them in there. Give them a little nip up. There we go. Super. So now that's going to go onto here. Just put them on the side and grab these bolts. Oh, I nearly forgot to mention about these spaces. So I've put the uh, th uh, thicker spacer in. Now, once you've fully tightened the adapter and the check the tightness of the belt at the end. Uh, if the belt is too tight, 
need to insert an additional spacer and likewise if, if the belt is too loose then you need to remove the space and change it for a thinner one. I've uh, already done a run through this, I've found that's okay, um, you know, the others may be different and of course over time it might change as well but yeah for now I seem to be alright and I'll see how I fare up with that. Right so we're going to attach this to here. Now I'm going to attach the bolts in this spot and this spot. As per the videos, I think they, they put it here and here. Um, I'm doing this, it's personal preference. I, I can't see why you can't shift it around. Uh, depends on your setup, depends on the scenario. So I'm just, like you can see, I've just flipped that round. I'm just going to locate the holes. Give them a tighten up. Now, what I've done is I've just tightened up and I'm just going to give it a slight loosen. Oh. Just so there's a bit of, again, a bit of play here. So we'll just bring that red cat into play here. I'm going to do, I'm going to attach the extension block here to this part of the dovetail plate. And it can only go on one way, really. So just marry it up. That's the wrong way around there. So let's marry it up with the two holes there. It's going to go like that, and it's going to go on this part. I'm going to be using the M6 50mm bolts. I'll just take that off there. And now I've done this, I'm just going to feed that through, like so. Sip the extension block over like that. I suppose you could maybe pop that on there and do it the other way around. I'll, I'll do it this way. And I'm just going to flip it round. Like that, hold the block, hold the whole unit. And just I'm just gonna place it on top there. Like and just give them a tighten up like that. Okay, you're gonna leave this slightly loose. There we go. And um, these are also M6 bolts, a 16mm, the ones that are holding the actual uh, mountain adapter on. So, once I've done that, time to get the time belt on. So I'm gonna grab the time belt here, put it over the pulley first, and then I'm just gonna start bring it round the fox rings, round the teeth, if you like. Bring that up a bit. So you may or may not have to sort of move this around a little, just so goes on and likewise I may have to like I am gonna to have to slightly loosen these bolts off just to give it a bit more play so. there we go that's on there all right so now that is on I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna flip this over now, and I'm gonna tighten the knob and make sure it's all straight. I'll tighten the extension block up first. I'm gonna slightly tighten that up. I may have to adjust that a bit more. And tighten them up. And then I'm just gonna have a look at this. Now, yeah, let me flip this around, show sure, you yeah, my potential issue here. All right, so I've had this in different places. It's always the same result, where this ring here is far too close to this adapter. And as you can see, I've got it as far as it'll go. I've got this as far as it'll go up to here. And it's pretty much touching. In fact, it is touching. And I've still got that slant on the, uh, on the belt. Uh, I, I don't understand what's going on here. I've, uh, I've looked online, all the videos I can find, uh, it, this ring is the right way around. The one thing I've noticed, it's not a silver pulley, it's black in color, and it looks to be a different, slightly different design. And this ring is always about maybe this far away. It's nowhere near the um, actual adapter. 
So what I'm personally going to do, I'm going to flip this around on itself to give me that space. And I did think about shifting this out a bit, the pulley, but there's, there's hardly any play, and I don't, I don't think it's going to make a difference anyway. I don't like the idea of have it, having it off slightly and not on the focus set um, fully. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else is watching this has had the same issue. No, let me know. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Well, it's not great, to be honest. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just flip this round and I'm going to get it all hooked up. And make sure it's uh, working okay. Right, so, I've got um, my camera and uh, Foxer uh, hooked up to Nina. I just want to quickly show you the clearance on this. Way better. So, I'll see how I fare up with this. If I see any potential issues the way I've done it, I will let you all know. I can't see it being an issue, to be honest. Well, let's a uh, moment of truth. Let's see if this is actually working. So I'm just going to move it in a couple of directions. So there's the first one. And let's try the other one. So I've got this hooked up to Nina. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Everything's tightened up properly. Super. I've now got an autofocuser on my red card. So the one thing I haven't covered is sorting out the backlash. I'm not going to cover it in this video but I did cover it in my Zenistar 61 autofocus video and I'll leave a link in the description in my pop-up in a card here and if you want to skip to minute 740 I believe um, and that'll take you to how I did that via Nina. I know I've pointed out a few of the issues I've got with this kit um, you know, I don't totally dislike it. I do actually like the kit. Um, but, you know, I, I wouldn't be true to myself and true to anyone watching this video if I didn't point out things that I had issues with and things I didn't like. You know, um, you have to be honest with these things. Um, but, you know, I do like the kit. I really do. I, I love the way it just sits underneath here. It's sort of centre. It, no, it's only going to be good for balance and that. It's not going to be sitting out the side. It's relatively easy to put together, it really is. Um, so I, I do like it, I do. So I'm potentially, if I get the chance, I'm gonna maybe write off, see if it's okay to not have this focus ring the way it is. I can't see any issue with that. It's not gonna be turning a million miles an hour. It's going quite slow, uh, but you know, of course, if I do start seeing issues with it, uh, of course, I'll let everyone know in due course. Um, likewise, if anyone has been using this kit for a while and, and you know, had issues uh, that I haven't actually foreseen yet because I haven't actually started using this properly yet, please feel free to leave a comment. And likewise, if you notice if I've missed anything out, um, like I did in my last video, yeah, again, um, fire away in the comments, let people know about it. Um, and that is it. I hope this video has helped in any way. I hope you enjoyed the video. And on that note, take care everyone, please, guys. And until next time, bye for now.